What place gets creepy when you're alone? Hotel. I work at a hotel, and actually one time in a dozen years of me working there, there was one day we had absolutely no guests in house. I did not like that, one bit. I hated being in that huge building all by myself. Similarly, dorm buildings. Former RA, during closing time it was so eerie especially with every door open and the large communal showers all alone. You know what makes that worse? When you're in the basement and all the lights are off and the only other person in the building is your co on the top floor. And you hear running and giggling at odd intervals. Turns out some of the RAs in my area decided to play hide and seek in my dorm and didn't bother to tell me till I went out and almost decked a person. Public toilets at 4 AM. Rest areas are not a good place to be from dusk till dawn. My school bus stopped at a rest stop at 2 a.m. for our senior trip. Creepy enough at 2 a.m., but most of the state is surrounded by woods, and teenagers are assholes. So instead of buddy system they'll do their business and sprint to the bus, screw you if you're still washing your hands. My basement looks like it should be the set for a hostile type movie. Worst of all, my dad bought some old barber chairs he's going to restore someday. So this room that already looks like a torture chamber now has two beat up barber chairs in it. My uncle's recently purchased house has a basement a lot like yours minus the barber chairs. When he bought it and started renovations, he took apart a makeshift storage closet type space in the basement and found I will be good written over and over on the walls inside. He and his girlfriend found out from neighbors that the house was used as a residential care home. Fucked up. Ah. Uh, what? Please tell me they burned the house down or at minimum sold it. No way it's not haunted. I completely agree. However my uncle is a super stubborn Polish guy and is naturally moving onward and forward with his fixer upper. I visited him and his GF right before the pandemic hit and yeah, the basement has a completely different vibe than the rest of the house. Not to mention at the time he had a single light bulb and rickety old wooden stairs to guide the way down there to his beer refrigerator and snack pantry, so deaf horror movie vibes. Midway up the basement stairs after turning the lights off at the bottom. Who the hell installs the light switch at the bottom of the stairs rather than the top? Oh, there's a light in the stairwell with a switch at the top, I'm talking about the basement room going dark and you're in the stairwell with nothing but darkness at the bottom of the stairs. There's a stretch of road in my hometown where a few teenagers have died in car accidents. Three kids on two separate occasions in the same spot. There are few street lights and wooded lots surrounding it. That stretch of road is very creepy at 1 in the morning when you're alone in the car. Sometimes they like to have reenactments with cars driving by. When I was growing up there was a deranged kid in our street. He would dress up and make up like a dead body, and lie on the road pretending to be dead. People would naturally slow down and maneuver around him. When traffic was slow enough, he would suddenly get up and run through an alleyway, getting to the next traffic light before the last car who saw him lying down. He would the jump in front of the car, all bloody, looking really mad and pointing a finger at the driver. He caused more than one fender bender as terrified drivers stepped on the brakes. The library. I work in a big 60-year-old academic library. I have recently started using my office from time to time with everyone else still working from home. I am ashamed to say I turned all of the lights on the floor on while I was there. The bathrooms are the creepiest. They haven't ever been updated and have a real 1960s feel. You described my university's main library perfectly. I'm sure yours is as creepy as you say when no one else is there. But on a lighter note, I love my library with its retro study carols and the book smell, and the endless rows of shelves. My heart will break if they ever renovate all the floors. 
below ground levels of a hospital. Worked third shift in a major hospital. Had to bring samples to the lab in the basement at all hours of the night. Seriously one of the creepiest places I've ever been. It was pristinely clean with fluorescent lighting which just gave it a really weird vibe to me for some reason. There's one main hall that is about 300 to 400 feet long with corridors, splitting off the whole way. I always pictured a zombie from 28 days later sprinting towards me from the other end. I once played airsoft at an abandoned hospital, and once I was assigned to guard a dark crossroad while the squad went to clear the room ahead. There I was alone with my flashlight looking out for enemies potentially coming from three directions. As I scanned each corridor in succession, I was extremely jittery as a single BB would end me. After about 10 minutes being extremely on edge, I heard the crack of an airsoft gun, then felt a sharp sting on my arm. I was hit, and was therefore out of the game. Shortly after, I heard fast but rhythmic footsteps, then two dudes kit out in full night vision stormed past my body, surely heading off to hunt the rest of my squad. We never stood a chance. Hospitals in general are creepy if you're alone in them, or at least, think that you are alone. You are never alone, they are with you always. Dark roads in the middle of the night. Scarier if another car is with you. Following you. Just far enough behind you that you occasionally think you might have lost him, but then you look in the rearview mirror and see those headlights coming around the curve. Roller rink? I used to work at a roller hockey facility and often closed the place alone. The sounds still traveled and it sounded like I was being followed. Even creepier now that in some places, skating rinks have been converted into emergency morgues to house the massive number of COVID casualties. I didn't know that, that scares me. The subway. When it's packed with people, it's fine. You are just rushing with the rest of the crowd to catch the train. But when you are alone and every sound is bouncing off the walls. That's so creepy. The artificial lights don't feel as unnatural as they do when you are alone. You find yourself yearning for the sun or the stars or anything real. A small cloud of fireflies would be better than the hum of overhead artificial lights. Even the air smells stale down there. It feels like a tomb, but with a train ready to take you on the way out. Can confirm. Had a late train ride back to Boston once, got stuck on the tracks for an hour and a half, and only then could I catch the tea stood by myself in Andrews Station at 11 p.m. I didn't know music played down there until I stood on the empty platform, snow falling outside, the rumble of trains passing farther down the tunnels, cheeks chapped with cold. Freaky shit. I was alone at a commuter rail station outside Boston. Waiting at towards the end of the tracks at 11. Nobody was around it was silent and freezing. There was a man lying on a bench across the tracks from me with his head bent over the edge of the bench. Like really unnatural almost inhuman position. I started getting worried he could be overdosing or dead, but I'm a small lady and I didn't want to get involved if he was just drunk or weird or dangerous. So I picked up a rock and kinda tossed it at a metal pole next to me to see if it would wake him up. It didn't. I'm sitting there trying to figure you what to do. He shoots up into a seated position and lets out an extremely loud and shrill shriek, looks around and looks at me and goes hey miss. Could I bum a cigarette off you? I nearly fucking threw up out of fear. The parking lot when you leave work late at night. Story time. Back in 2014 I was working an evening shift in an industrial area, so I'd arrive for work around 4 pm and leave around 1 am. My ride was the family's cargo van, they used it to deliver produce, that had no windows in the back. Oh, and the locks didn't work. So I'd come out at 1 am to an empty parking lot and climb into my murder van that had been unlocked and unattended the 8 to 9 hours prior, and then hop in and hope for the best. NGL, 
Some nights I'd creep myself out and wind up swerving wildly in the parking lot on the way out to toss any hiding kidnappers slash murderers that were waiting in the dark for me. That sounds terrifying but I laughed out loud at murder van. People were probably more scared of you than you were of them ha ha ha. The middle of the ocean. Yes. My wife, son and I went on a cruise last summer. At night I'd go out on the balcony and read when they went to bed. Out in the middle of the Atlantic with no lights anywhere. It's super cool but also very unsettling. Seeing another ship off in the distance was strangely reassuring. I'm a teenager and went on a cruise with my family last fall. Being with my siblings and the strangers I met and turned into friends while being on the top deck looking out into the water or being in the 24-7 diner at 3 a.m. is very weird. My house when I've been watching conspiracy theories for hours. Empty school. My thoughts? Can confirm. Been there many times alone and I do not recommend. Practically any room in my house after I watch a horror movie. What place gets creepy when you're alone? Leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this one.